Lance Lynn goes to Chicago in exchange for pitching prospect Dane Dunning, who had a pretty good year at the big league level last year. And there are people on very polarized ends of this as to who got the better end of the trade. Give us your thoughts. Well, good morning. Uh, the winter meetings are virtual, but the news is real, my friends. It was, of course, night one of the virtual winter meetings. We were all at the, the virtual uh, establishment there uh, with a beverage. And here comes the news right around midnight Eastern time, scurrying back to the set. Here's the update. Lance Lynn is now a member of the Chicago White Sox. Here's what I think about this. If you are going to hire Tony La Russa Agreed. and announce to the baseball world that you are going to go to win the World Series this year, this coming year, or next year. This move is a logical through line from that La Russa hire of going all in right now. Dane Dunning is, as you see it there, a very good prospect. He, of course, uh, someone that was originally drafted by the Nationals, showed some promise this past season. But Lance Lynn has been one of the more reliable pitchers in the game the last several years. In fact, you go and look, since 2017, among all pitchers with at least 600 innings pitched, Lance Lynn ranks ninth in the majors in adjusted ERA. Trevor Bauer, who is everybody's top pick as a free agent this year, ranks just two spots ahead of him on that list in adjusted ERA since 2017. So again, you're getting one of the best pitchers out there. There was some noise, some talk during the course of the season. Uh, would Lance Lynn be moved at the deadline? Candidly, from the Rangers perspective, worked out pretty well because Dane Dunning is probably about as good of a prospect as they could have hoped to have gotten at the trade deadline in August. So I, this I think is you have a to uh, really credit pitcher. John Daniels for waiting.